Right before I let you go, Jeff, what do you think of Vlad Klitschko, Joshua? I, I'm supposed to stay neutral, but from my perspective, how the hell is a guy who's 40 coming off a loss, who was knocked out anyways when he was in his prime, how's he going to beat this kid in his 20s gold medal? I don't, I don't see a way for Klitschko to really win this fight. Am I wrong? No, you could be wrong. I mean, because you're basing it off who Joshua fought. Who did he fight? I don't know one person. Nobody. But he's a gold medalist. That's great. But I'm going more off the eye test. You know, 6'6", six, six, speed, skills. Well, I mean, but still, he's never fought a person that can actually fight like a Klitschko. Right. Or any, or, or Wilder or, or anybody else that can actually fight in that division. I mean, the guy that he fought, who was he? Right. Okay. But everyone starts making their name somewhere. They, you know. No, no, but, but what I'm saying is this. You can make your name, but if you if, put, put it this way. If you put a guy in front of me that really can't fight, and I'm a fighter, what am I supposed to do? You look amazing. That's right. And I haven't seen not one legitimate fighter put in front of him yet. So... He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do, you know, but I'm not knocking him because I think that he has potential to be you know, a great heavyweight, but I also think that in that division, anybody can be champion on any given night, you know. I'm, Who will you be picking on fight night, Klitschko or Joshua? Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I lean toward Joshua just because he's younger. Right, right. And, I mean, Klitschko is pretty much, you know, he's at that age where you don't know if – you know, Father Time is saying it's time to quit. But um, if the old Klitschko show up, Joshua gonna be upset. Whole the whole UK gonna be upset. He gets he gets beat if that Klitschko shows up. You, I think so. I mean, because the one thing with Klitschko is this: is that Klitschko's smart. You know, I mean, and don't get me wrong. I mean, he don't have the greatest chin, but he still knows how to. You know, you got to work to get past him, to get past his jab, to get past... And I mean, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I hope that he doesn't... I hope that Klitschko doesn't make it a, a, a tactical fight of just hit and hold. Like the Fury fight. Yeah, because he, he might do that, but don't get me wrong. The Tyson Fury fight, Klitschko didn't train for that fight. Klitschko usually, usually did that to smaller guys, so then once he fought Fury, he couldn't really, you know, get away with the stuff here. That much is true, but also... Klitschko had just had a baby, right. and you and, and you could see the fat, and you know you can see that he wasn't in shape, you know. So I mean, I'm not saying that Tyson Fury got lucky or whatever, but I just think that the the best the best Klitschko wasn't in there, right. you know. And, and I mean that can happen to anyone. Anyone can, you know, uh, be overconfident and not train, you know, the way they they should, and especially when you're talking about bringing a new life into the world. Right. You know what I mean, and and that becomes your focus. You know, and it's and it's too late to to cancel the fight or whatever. I mean, and, and but that's what you're caught up in. And so I mean, not like I said, not to um, take anything away from Tyson Fury, but I just think that he didn't fight the best Klitschko.